So this is going to be like a you and them. Um, it's going to be a little bit different. It's going to be an eight card spread. We're going to get your energy. We're going to get your person's energy. We're going to get connecting energies. We'll get advice and future energies as well. Okay, so we have three piles to choose from. The first pile here, this is the Wandering Star Tarot by Cat Pierce. That'll be pile one. Pile two is the Tarot of Mystical Moments. And then pile three is the Shadowland Tarot. So that'll be pile three. So there'll be a little meditation after this intro, of course. Timestamps will be down below, and that's pile one and two and three. And I'll see you at your pile. Hey, Paul one, so if you chose the Wandering Star Tarot by Cat Pierce, this will be your reading. I'm excited about this tarot because it's, I have had all the tarot that we're using today. I've still had them in a box and I've just recently unpacked all that stuff. Finally, it <laughs> only took me two months. Um, anyway, I'm really excited. This is one of my favorite decks. Okay, guys, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get an eight card spread here. We're going to tap into your energy first so you can make sure this is your reading course and um, Pisces energy here in the moon and Cancer as well. So let's do that. Let's tap into your energy first. We're going to get three cards for you. We're going to get three for your person. We're going to get how you're feeling about the relationship, your or the thoughts on the relationship, how you're feeling about the relationship and any intentions and we'll get future energies as well as at boss. And I have some brand new spanking oracles that I'm gonna use I'm super pumped about. So we're gonna get those as well. So let's get into this first with how is my pile ones currently thinking about this relationship? How are they currently thinking? Two of Cups, there's your partnership. How are you currently feeling about this person? Page of Wands. Communication, perhaps, for some of you. Someone coming in with a message, perhaps. You wanting to message someone. What about your intentions? What are your intentions here? Strength. Leo energy. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at your person. See where they are. What about Paul Wynn's person? What is their person's thoughts about this connection? The Ten of Wands. Wow. What are their feelings about this connection? King of Pentacles. Capricorn energy. Uh, can be Virgo Taurus as well. What about their actions? Hierophant. Taurus energy. Okay. So let's focus on you first and we go through this. I don't want to go over your person's energy first, but I think that I see a relationship here that you're, you're seeing this person as someone that you can connect with, that you see this relationship with. This could be just so this harmonious connection that you feel with them. You feel like they're a soulmate. You feel like there's someone that's important to you in your life. Um, and you still feel this like connection with this person or you do feel this as being something that can be a good partnership here. As far as what you're feeling here, this page of wands is someone that's like f a fresh new explorer, <laughs> right? It could also be that you're reminiscing on some messages that you shared here with this person or you're giving this person kind of the benefit of a doubt in some kind of way or that you just are open to communication here with this person. You're feeling that way. Um, it could be that you're you're trying to see the good here as well, um, or that you're just wanting that communication. You could also be, for some of you, thinking about messaging this person, or you have thought about that. You have strength here as far as your intentions go, so I feel like you're, you're having to have courage, or you're having to have a sense of control here with your emotional self, or with um, having patience here moving forward. I think that you're in that place where... I just have to have patience here, you know? 
especially if you're thinking about sending a message or communicating or something to this nature, you're just, you may be trying to maintain patience with that. Um, we'll get some clarifiers here. Why is that two of cups here? The ace of cups. So, well, there you go. <laughs> That is a brand new spanking relationship, that, or that is a brand new, a renewal in a relationship that you're thinking about, a new beginning with someone. So tell me about love that's there in a relationship, Brock. Tell me about the page of wands, the nine of pentacles in reverse. Hmm. There's a lack of stability here, or there's Someone, this is someone that you feel like you can depend on in some kind of way. Um, for some of you, this just has to do with you not feeling, I don't feel like you've, you may be communicating to this person or wanting to communicate to this person that you feel a lack of stability here or you feel you're, you're not comfortable with how things are or For some of you, this is not wanting to be single, you know, wanting to have this relationship. You may be communicating to someone here that you are not no longer single. You could be communicating to this person. I feel like for some of you, because of this person's energy, you're about to teach this person a heavy lesson. Oh man, guys, if y'all are not with this person and you are with someone else, you're in a new relationship here, you be communicating to this person that you are not single, then this is, I can already see it over here as this being someone's lesson in some kind of way. Whew. And it's... Um, but if you are, I feel like this is, I think that you're, you're seeing a partnership, a relationship, um, with this person and you, and you want this. And I think that you're wanting to communicate to this person that you don't want to be single anymore, or you're feeling a sense of, uh, you're wanting to, <laughs> you see this person as being someone that is reliable or someone that you're comfortable with. A lot of strength here. The chariot cancer energy i think that i mean this is heavy emotional energy here of, of getting yourself in, in check right getting a sense of control over your own journey or the process of things here having patience with yourself this is your intentions doing what's best for you i think is your intentions here i think if this is someone that's from your you're connected to here with with your past in some kind of way and I think you're doing what's best for you. I think that you're, for some of you, if this is someone new, I think you're wanting this to be successful. I think you're getting a sense of control over your inner self, you know, um, listening to your intuition. And you feel in control, I think. I think that you feel in control. I think that you feel a sense of peace and you feel like you're on the right path. And this is your intentions are to continue moving forward here. what that ten of wands is for their person as far as what they're thinking about the connection so this person feels burdened here in some kind of way they may feel like they don't have any control over this um or they may feel kind of overloaded with with the inf this information if this is someone from your past they may also feel like i mean this is a this is having a burden to carry. That's why I kept saying this may be a hard lesson for this person if this is someone from your past. For others of you, if this is someone newer, it's just like they're at a point to where they want things to change significantly here. Or they know that things will change significantly because of this being a, there being a new relationship here in some kind of way. The, the King of Pentacles here as far as their feelings, they feel, they, feel, this person feels these feelings as being 
something that's grounded for them. They see you as someone that will be in their life long term or could be in their life long term. Um, they feel like you would be a good partner or some, you know, a good ride or die person here for them. They feel as if they can grow something with you or they can make something with you or they can have something long term here with you or they could have success here with you. Um, there's a sense of this person wanting to be honest. There's strength here too as well. This person feels like, you know, they want to be honest. I'm curious what that's from, but let's, let's go ahead and look at the higher thing here. This is Taurus energy. I feel like, see this grounded energy that's here is this person feels like they want to ground something or they need to ground something here um, because they're carrying a heavy burden for some of you, so they need to ground something. There's a lesson here, though, as far as their intentions go. For some of you, this has to do with commitment, marriage, um, but I think this person could also be in a place to where they're wanting to learn or understand um, you and which... and who you are and, and what, what it is that you want and why. This is someone that could be very traditional or that might be something that weighs on this relationship. You know, this person's morals or their values or how they do things. Um, their intentions here, I feel like for some of you, this person's intentions could be to marry you. Yeah, this person's intentions could be to have some sort of commitment here with you. So, why is the Ten of Wands here? Justice in the reverse. So, for some of you, definitely if this is someone from your past, there is this uh, Libra energy. There is this idea that there was some sort of injustice that was done and karma that's playing out here in some way. For, some, for others of you, this is just a burden that there's just an imbalance here um, that they don't feel like is fair or okay. Um, and they would like to kind of fix that or stabilize that in some kind of way. This person's definitely carrying around this weight of imbalance, knowing that there's been some kind of, this is also that lesson that I was talking about. This could be karma coming back on this person in some kind of way, if this is someone from your past, especially if you have a new connection here that you're thinking about. This is like this person feels like now they have to carry this burden because the weight is this this was karma coming back around on them because maybe this person waited too long and you finally decided to get your ass in that chariot and do what's best for you even if that was difficult or, or you had to have uh, you know an incredible sense of strength internally to do that um if you had a lot of love for this person you know um so let's see what the King of Pentacles is. So there's two scenarios that I'm feeling, okay? Why is that King of Pentacles here? The Seven of Wands, yeah. So this, the challenge here for this person, for some of you, if this is someone new, the challenge is they don't feel comfortable or okay with how things sit at this time. They feel like things may be imbalanced or they just don't have a sense of awareness of the balance of the connection, you know? They're still kind of on the outskirts of knowing that. So that could bring them that burden or stress. It's a stress here. Um, they may not be the one sitting in a place to make that final judgment call or that decision. Um, or they don't know what's okay and what's not okay. Or they're having to step outside their comfort zone. If this is someone that's heavily focused on their morals or commitment or some kind of something to do with that and their values of that they may be outside of their, their comfort zone here in this relationship um for some of you this this king of pentacles and seven of wands is a ch is the challenge here the challenge here i feel like is this person's having to have courage um to remain stable, you know, if this is someone new. This is someone from your past. This is this challenge here is gonna be to maintain a sense of stability or understanding. Having to be courageous here and stand strong. 
because they feel like they're getting some kind of negative karma here in some way back around. Tell me about the Hierophant. Hierophant, King of Wands. Aries energy. Yeah, there's two people here, guys. I was picking up on this storyline. So for some of you, if you have a new person, if you're in a new relationship and you communicate that to this person, you had to do what's best for you or this is what's best for you in some kind of way, that lack of, of that karma, this person feels like they're getting their karma back. I want to see why. Woo! Ten of Swords, this person could have betrayed you. This person could have, I mean, there's some kind of dishonesty that's here. There's, there's a lack of, um, I mean, this is an ending. This is, this is the final ending. There's something that, that could have played out between the two of you where it, it wasn't okay or it wasn't right or it wasn't justified. It wasn't fair. Um, and that's a burden that this person's kind of carrying here. The challenge is for them to be honest, I feel like, for some of you. This King of Pentacles, I mean, this King of Wands that's here, which I feel like are two different individuals, but this is a lesson about honor for this person. If this is someone from your past, this is a lesson of taking a direction and having a sense of courage and pride in doing so. Um, it's about, also, if this is someone new, you know, then this is someone that has certain standards that they want to meet pertaining to commitment. This is someone that feels as if they want to move forward here with you. They want to have something long-term here with you. They want to have commitment here with you. Give me one more for the King of Wands. The Sun. Okay, so this is enlightenment. This is, this is success and, and having, if this is someone new, this is someone that sees like strong attraction towards you, wanting to have this commitment here with you or wanting to have a sense of meeting their standards here as far as what they, what they see or what they value as in, in a connection. Um, and they're gonna, they wanna have understanding and clarity on that. This is someone from the past. This enlightenment is going to be the lesson that they, about honor and direction and doing what you need to, um, being courageous and taking, taking the lead and, and moving in a direction here. I think if this is someone that waited too long to do that and you've already, now you're in a new relationship this is the lesson and the karma that's playing out for this person because of that Ten of Swords. Tell me more about that Ten of Swords. The Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. There's your King and Queen of Pentacles. This is someone that did not see your worth. They did not value you. They could have betrayed you. They could have been really unfair to you. Um, If this is someone new, they see you as this counterpart and they don't want this to end. They, they want to make sure that you are loyal to them. And right now they may be sitting in a place where this is a burden that they don't want to feel. It could also be represent if this person is married here, it could represent someone of their past and there being a painful ending there and there being some kind of injustice there and that being a weight that they still carry. Um, that's why they may be wanting this commitment here with you or it's challenging them to kind of look at this again or step into this energy again you know when you you think you're ready for commitment and then you see it see someone in that way you kind of sometimes can have a sense of fears that come back up um i can see that here as well if that's your if that's your situation what's the seven of wands 
the four of wands. Union, marriage, commitment, coming together. <laughs> if this is someone from your past, this is the actual, like, the challenge is, is to come to back together with you. The challenge is for them to be honest with you. Um, but if this is someone new, this is... I think it's worried to, if this is someone new, I think this person's worried about your freedom. Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Most definitely, if this is someone from your past, that they are the challenges. They're having a hard time coming to you and offering you something, or, or offering you even apology or something to this nature. And this is part of that lesson, and this is part of that honor, and and doing what they know is they need to do or what is right. I think this person's waited too long, and you could have maybe for some of you already move on to someone else. But this can also represent this need or want to kind of ground something um and it you know the challenge here for this person is that you're pro they're procrastinating they're procrastinating this or if this is someone new you could be procrastinating this and they're trying to find peace with it and that's the challenge because this person wants loyalty and commitment So on your side, give me one more for that Ace of Cups and that Two of Cups. Oh my goodness in the world. I think for a lot of you, you have a new relationship here with someone. And I think that you've moved on or you're trying to do that. I feel like that you're moving on to a new chapter here um, in your life when it comes to love. I also feel like, I mean, this is part of a lesson as well. I think that you feel like, I think that this is like a starting over energy. Look at there, the mother star has just popped out. <laughs> I think that you're, I feel this, you're trying to do what's best for you here. And I think that for some of you, you may have known that this was coming. For some of you, you may know, you may just want closure here with this person. If this is someone from your past, wanting to nurture this, or you just want to have some cl closure here in this. Tell me about that um, Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. The Fool. If this is someone from your past, I know I keep having to say that, but there's two scenarios here, guys. I want to be clear, clear on which is which. Um, this is Aries energy for me as well. I see Capricorn here as well. I think that you may have felt like a fool in the past or you don't want to be foolish. New person, I think that you may be thinking about taking a leap towards this new person, taking, jumping off that cliff here. And this is the message. You could be sending this person a message saying that you're ready to take that leap. Tell me about the chariot. The hermit, Virgo energy. Yeah, you've been healing. You've been doing the inner work here at that strength and revert or that strength underneath this. Then you have that chariot there. You've been doing the, the, the healing, the work. Um, and you feel like you need to do what's best for you here and you don't want to be a fool. You don't want to lose something and you don't want to, it's like maybe you've been a fool in the past of how you saw someone or you're thinking that, you know, maybe I was just a fool in seeing that this person could, you know, I could have what I needed with this person or they could, we could, um, it was something that was giving to me in some kind of way. It wasn't giving to me at all, you know, the Empress, absolutely, Taurus, Libra energy, you are in that Empress energy, you're, you are in this intuitive understanding of who you are 
and the direction that you need to take and not wanting to be a fool here. Um, you may be seeing this person differently if this is someone, well, I feel like either scenario, I think that you're seeing this person in a different kind of way. And I think for some of you, you're wanting to take a leap um, to be with this person and that you feel like you're ready for that. You see your worth and value, um, and that's something that they didn't see, you know, past person did not see that. New person is aware. <laughs> so let me see what the, um, let me see one more for that Queen of Pentacles, and then we'll get future energies, the lovers. Past person did not see the value of this connection with you for what it was. And that's a hard lesson that they're learning. We have the six of wands at the bottom of the deck. This is recognition. You're about to get some recognition here, guys. What's the future of this connection? Not a one, someone coming in very quickly. What's the future of this connection? Clarify. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse, the wrong time. They waited too long. This person waited too long to come in. The scales need to be balanced. Justice needs to take place, right? Your intuition's been telling you this. This is coming. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune universe. Temperance. Yep. I think that it's not, it's unfortunate that the two of you can't bring two, two parts of things together. There may be a sense of compromise or understanding here in the future of this connection that it's just, it was just a, not such a great event or it was just a bad luck on, you know, in our, in our situation. It just didn't come together or work out. We have the moon here as well. So fear could have been a factor here. Um, this is your intuition here again, Pisces, Cancer energy. Could be dreaming, having dreams at this time, three of wands. Yeah, this is what you've been waiting for. You knew this was coming. You knew there was more to this than what meets the eye, right? And once you got to a certain healed place within yourself, I think that you were able to recognize that. If, you know, new person, I think that you are, are there's still a sense of, there's some kind of pause here. There's there's some kind of disruption here. Tell about the Nine of Wands. The Creator in Reverse. For some of you, this is all one story. You have someone here coming back from your past and you may be kind of going with things Things are going, you know, in a certain direction, kind of moving with the flow of things. And then all of a sudden, the creator's here. And this is something that you knew was coming. And I feel like it's something that you knew was coming that you knew that you were going to have to be faced with that was going to be difficult or hard in some kind of way. It's out of your control. Um, and it's going to cause a pause if there's a new connection here. There's a sense of needing to find your needing to kind of experience or go through all the things that you've learned here, find a sense of balance and peace with what you knew was gonna happen or, or come and a sense of a period of pause. It's also an understanding here of why someone created some sort of distance here and it could be it could have been out of fear. Um Give me an overall energy for the future energies here. Yeah, the Knight of Cups in the reverse. For some of you, it could be, I mean, for some of you, I feel like you could be turning something down or you could be just, something wasn't exactly what you thought it was, you know, and an understanding of that. This is like you're not looking at something in a dreamy state or any kind of, and you know, the Knight of Wands just came out. There could be something here that you're just, 
this is going to be overwhelming. This is, I feel like you have someone coming towards you um, and it's not what you expected. They're going to say and, and do things that aren't, that aren't what you expect. And I think it's going to be, make it very difficult for you. I think that you're going to feel overwhelmed. And if you have a new relationship here that you're taking a leap towards here, it could put that on pause. And you could find yourself kind of distancing yourself there because you're needing to find balance within yourself of what direct, what direction that you want to take things. You know, this is something you knew was coming, but still comes in kind of unexpectedly. And there's, you're overwhelmed. Ace of Wands. You got a brand new beginning here. Queen of Wands in reverse. You don't feel confident in taking that opportunity here. And I think this is, if this is past person, you don't feel confident in fully taking that opportunity. Or if this is new person, I just feel like you're needing to find a sense of, this is going to rattle you. You're needing to find a sense of structure here and confidence and the direction that you take moving forward. And that causes a pause to think about that. You have the Six of Cups in the bottom of the deck. So definitely for some of you, I mean, I feel like most of this is, it's possible something's coming back around. There's reconciliation here. This Page of Swords, someone maybe that has been spying on you, trying to figure out what it is, if you've detached from them, where you are, what you're doing, what you're up to, what's around you, who's around you. Um, if you're stable, They could be missing you, thinking about this, thinking about when the two of you were stable at some point, what, when you had something together here with that Ten of Pentacles. This person went through, I feel like, stages. And I think for you, this whole reading's focused on what you want, what you've learned what you've processed through. And, you know, before I started y'all's reading, I did a meditation. And the first thing that I saw was someone that was sitting in like a cubicle, like about to take some sort of test. Um, and I feel like you've done some healing, some inner work. You've been through a lot of things. And I think that you're sitting in that Empress energy, male or female, doesn't matter. You're in this place to where you understand yourself and you know what you need to do in order to have abundance and grow. And you're implementing that. This is this, this time when you, you've studied, you know, and now it's time to take that test. And this is what's coming. And I think this is what you've been picking up on and feeling and intuitively it was going to end up happening here. It's going to rattle you because I feel like whatever's coming in, it's going to be, I think it was unexpected on both parts, new person and this person here from the past. But I think that they're whatever they're expressing to you is going to be overwhelming for you. I don't think it's going to be exactly what you thought. Okay, so these are the new oracles that I just got. I'm really excited about them. <laughs> they're so pretty. Um, you can get them on Etsy. They're called the Twin Flame Oddies. So let's tap into what are your... Currently, what is Powell One's thoughts on this connection? What is Powell One's thoughts on this connection currently spiritual death rebirth process self-discovery dart out of the soul so i feel like this is what you're what you feel as if you you've had this person if you're in a new relationship in the world being there with that ace of cups it's caused you to awaken to a part of you that needs closure or healing or completion and I think that you may have went through some sort of process of rebirth here, of self-discovering what it is that you want and what you're capable of achieving here within yourself because of this relationship. So tell me about what, what their feelings are towards this person, Paul one's feelings towards this person at this time. Two cards, because I feel like there's two people here. Let's see. One of them says she's a unicorn, one of a kind, hard to find, and irreplaceable that could be the new person that's here and then you also have a lone wolf free spirit happy single choosing to stay single and I said that earlier in this reading I think some of you are trying to figure out if you should 
you know, choose to stay single here if you should be a free spirit or if if you, this person's like a one of a kind and you you don't know if you can ever replace this person. And this is how you're feeling about them. It could be if there's two people here as well that um, one person you feel like is more of a free spirit and the other person someone that's more reliable, kind of hard to find. Heavy burden just popped out. Responsibilities, carrying old baggage, clinging to an unhealthy relationship. Yeah, I think that some of you may have been doing that. And this is part of that spiritual, you know, process that you're going through this healing. What? Okay, <laughs> there you go. The proud rebel, <laughs> break, rule breaker, nonconformist and not traditional relationship. This could have been an experience that you had with someone where you felt like it was like this, like it wasn't, it was, there was something that was toxic from this relationship. It was something out of the ordinary or something different, or it's just, maybe it was a situationship or, or you didn't have a commitment with this person, or this is someone outside of your world in some kind of way that wasn't a traditional relationship or a back and forth energy. And this is what you've been kind of contemplating and healing from about what is best for you here and what it is that you need. I think that you're proud of yourself in a way for kind of taking the lead on that, you know, especially if there's someone new here and you've been kind of in this position where you don't know if you want to stay single or if you want to take this person. And it could be a person that's just one of a kind or you're seeing in that way. And you're kind of proud of yourself for not kind of conforming to someone else's standards or, or ideas, but sticking to what's best for you. That's part of your lesson that you've been through that you're implementing. So let's see about this person. What is this person's thoughts towards this relationship? A grim reaper, breakup, divorce, clearing away the old, cutting something and someone off. Yeah, new or old, I feel like this is what this person's thinking about. So they're thinking about the breakup or they're thinking about, you know, needing to clear away the old. I think if this is the new person, they're trying to figure out how to, like now these fears are maybe resurfacing if it's if someone that's been married before or in a long-term relationship and they're trying to get that away, kind of clear that out. What about what it is that they, it's funny, I laughed, the Grim Reaper, you had the Ten of Swords right there, so <laughs> they're thinking about the injustice that's maybe been caused in the past. Why is the, um, what is the, the feelings of this person? What are they feeling? Roll the dice. Yeah, <laughs> taking a risk, roll with it. Risky situation. This person feels like they they have to roll the dice here and, and how they come towards you or, you know, the, this is the challenge here. This was this whole challenge for this person is being patient or coming or taking the lead and coming towards you depending on the situation. Roll the dice and with that page of pentacles in reverse, they've been procrastinating this, taking a risk in some kind of way. It's too challenging here. I think if this is someone new, they feel that way. They feel like they don't want to roll the dice on this. This is something that they want to have, be loyal to, be concreted here. Give me, give me a card for what their intentions are, please. Call oh, this person. The young. Children may be important here. It says children, youthful spirit, and inner child healing. Yeah. I'm going to hold this up. It's kind of like the Six of Cups as well. So this person feels as if, as far as their intentions go, they could be thinking about children or, or worried about children or concerned about that. Um, needing to do what's right or what's best. With that sun energy and the child here, and they're both redheads, by the way. I don't know if that's that means something to somebody. <laughs> but they are. I'm going to hold this up so y'all can see this. The sun can be that childlike energy. See that? So maybe there's there's something here with um, a child that's significant for some of you, not everybody's story. Maybe that this person is, there's a child here involved or this person's 
for some of you, it's this person feels as if this is part of them growing up and learning a lesson on being motivated and, and taking the lead in their life, honoring what it is that they want for themselves. Yeah. Let's see what the future here of, of this is. What's the future here? future here of this relationship. Two hearts falling in love. The feeling is mutual and equal effort. Well, that's good to see in the future energies. Can I have one more for that? Two hearts. Well, they gave me two cards. Two possibilities. I gotcha. <laughs> At the bottom of the deck. Two hearts, two possibilities. I'm telling you, there's two people here, and this is future energy. I think that you're going to be making a decision. At a crossroads, critical stage, exploring your options. You also have these two that came out. Voodoo doll, manipulation, scheming and controlling and bad influences, and the cosmos, soul gifts, divine plan, and align with the universe. You're going to go through this where you're trying to make a decision about what it is that you want, because I feel like a lot of you are going to be placed with making a decision here who you want moving forward and I think that someone here is you're trying to figure out if this is someone that's a bad influence or trying to manipulate you in some kind of way and then there's someone here you feel like is part of your divine plan yeah mm -hmm. let's get some advice underneath this two possibilities you have the hand of fate Fated event, fated relationship, forces beyond your control. And I said that earlier with that magician in reverse. You feel like this is, you don't have any kind of control here in this. You knew this was coming. I feel this feeling. Of, you knew this was going to come. Okay. Fated event, being at a crossroads. Critical stage. Exploring your options. Two hearts. Yeah. It's all part of divine plan. <laughs> so tell me about um, advice. Can we have some advice, please? These are the affirmation cards. Affirmators. Positive thinking. Well, that's great. <laughs> Thanks, spirit. Um, think positively. <laughs> In the garden of my mind, I water the good thoughts and weed out the bad ones. I throw in forgiveness and empathy, seeds by the handful, if I want. And I take a lawnmower to the jealousy and resentment patch. I'm a, I'm a pretty badass mind gardener. <laughs> I like it. So maintain a sense of understanding where your thoughts are in this and the direction that you take. If there's a sense of, you know, resentment that's going on here. Kind of you're, you're they're saying here to pull that back and focus on what's important moving moving forward here for you um and what makes you feel at peace and, and safe you know when it comes to making that decision try not to hold or obtain any kind of resentments here with this person because that's only going to hurt you in the end and saying that Forgiveness is, is almost like a requirement here in order to move forward in the best direction possible. And having empathy, you know. And I actually just posted uh, uh, a saying on my community page about empathy. And, you know, being able to understand to putting yourself, uh, your ego to the side and putting yourself into someone else's world completely. Um, and they're saying to do that here. This is part of the advice. When you make that decision so that you don't carry any kind of resentments so that you don't carry any kind of you know because they have this manipulation card here this bad influence so that is something that is laying on you right this is going to cause some things to come up as far as your healing goes like you're going to have to kind of relive some things right 
I have the one <laughs> right there, um, and you have three. So there's that new beginning. You have the the music notes here with the rainbow. So music may be relevant. You may be getting sound synchronicities through music. You have the two birds with the heart in the middle. So there's your um, soulmate connection. Freedom and love, you know. We have M, we have a J, we have a, another M or a W, I guess. We have a G, we have an H. We have a one again, so you have two ones here. Those are new beginnings. This is a new beginning here for you. Um, we have C, I, and like how you wanna start this, you know, a new beginning for yourself. We have Y, E, O, a home may be relevant here and um, K. So a home may be really relevant here. We also have key in the bowl. So maybe a key to your home. What, when making this decision, really sit and think about what is the key to where you feel safe at? You know, who do you feel safe with? What do you feel safe in doing? Look out for yourself. Don't do anything that's outside of your comfort zone in any kind of way to where it's going to put you in an environment where you don't feel safe. Do what's best for you. You know you're worth your value. You've healed past some things. And take everything that you learned, like I said, everything that you've studied and implement it to do what's, what's best and what's right for you. Ex accepting everyone's story and having empathy, but also still doing... The key here is to do what's best for you and what makes you feel safe. Like, protect your peace here is what it's saying, kind of, you know. Okay, and either people will, will stay in that or they won't, you know. But needing to protect your peace here. Alright, guys. So, I'm going to leave you here. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope this resonates. hope it makes sense to you guys. Um, good luck. Sending you love and light. And I hope to see you guys soon. Hey, Paul too. So if you chose the Mystical Moments, Tarot of Mystical Moments here, this is going to be your reading. So we're going to start with the Tarot, and then I'm going to get some new Oracle cards to clarify. Okay, so this is going to be an eight-card spread here, guys. This is going to be kind of like a you and them. We're going to focus on your energy first. We're going to take a look at your current thoughts about this relationship. Then we'll take a look at your feelings for this person, and then we'll look at your intentions. We'll do the same for your person on the right side of me. And then we'll get future energies down the middle, and then we'll also get some advice towards the end. Okay. So let's start over here with your energy, Paul, too. What is your current energy here? Paul 2's current energy here. What is their current energy here? What are their thoughts towards their person in this relationship? What are their thoughts towards this person in this relationship? Strength, Leo energy. Okay. So what are your current feelings? Paul 2, what are your current feelings towards this person? the world. Interesting. Okay, so let's take a look at your intentions. Paul, two, what are your intentions? Three of Wands. There could be distance here between the two of you. Um, there could be some kind of traveling that's involved or needed. There could, oh, this could also represent the two of you being worlds apart, you know, that, that could be something that's here. So this could be someone that you know from a distance. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and tap into your person's energy, and then we'll come back to you and get clarifiers as well. Capricorn, Leo, Taurus, Lib um, Scorpio, Aquarius energy is here for me. So what about your person? What's your person's thoughts about this relationship? King of Swords, Aquarius energy. It's weird, that's the last thing I said, I think. <laughs> that I named off. Um, 
What are your person's current feelings towards you, Paul II? Eight of Swords. Okay. And what is your person's intentions towards you here? You have a Five of Wands in the reverse. That's interesting. What's the current energy of the connection between the two of them? Current energy of the connection here, spirit between the two of them. The Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. So there's a standstill here between the two of you. Um, Page of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. There's a need or want to understand one another that's here. I feel like as far as your energy goes, I think that you are trying to be patient with this person. I think that there's been, there's some sort of waiting that's transpiring here. You could be wanting a new beginning, wanting to explore, wanting to have a new start. You feel like this is something that, you feel like this person is very different here for you from what you're used to perhaps someone that you may want to understand. There's a sense of wanting or needing to understand that's here. You may be having like a sense of closure, wanting to expand here. There's such a like energy of patience from your side that I'm feeling. Um, very heavy. It's like, you may be sitting at a position too, as far as your intentions go, where you're trying to figure out if you should, which direction that you should move in. It's like you're waiting for something. You're just sitting here waiting, kind of waiting to see how things unfold. There's this energy of going with the flow of this relationship. Um, for some of you, you may have created some kind of distance here with this person, kind of trying to distance yourself or trying to, yeah, I feel this energy of you trying to distance yourself, trying to create some kind of distance between the two of you, or you can just feel that. Your person on the other side, they're really thinking about this, thinking about this relationship and you and the truth and, and what it is that they want. Um, I think that they're in a place to where they're, they may, if there's been conflict here, want to kind of mend things or they're figuring out things as they go. Now this eight of swords and their feelings is I think this person's starting to allow themselves to be more open or more free, but they're struggling with that, or they have been. I think that's part of what they're getting out of here with this five of ones in reverse is, is the conflict of that. Um, thinking things through here logically and getting out of their head. Two of you have just some differences here, differences of opinion, differences about maybe how to move forward or which direction to take moving forward. And I think that I do feel like this person here is in a position of making the move next. And then this person here, which is your energy, or it could be either, um, take it how it resonates, right? This, this side, if this is you, I think that you're creating that distance. So let's see why that is. Tell me about the, the strength here, pile one, pile one. Tell me about the strength here for pile twos, how they feel about the connection. King of Cups. Well, there's love here. Um, they're trying to be emotionally mature here. This is someone that's trying to have a sense of emotional maturity here. If this is your energy, it's like you're wanting to 
give yourself a sense of patience with this person and this connection and you you do want to have something that is secure you know before you kind of allow it to flow in some kind of way when it comes to your your the way that you're thinking about this connection there's a sense of emotional stability and strength is behind that so having to have courage in order and to where you are and, and having an emotional stable place of feeling like you have something to offer here or what it is that you want to offer here you have two kings out on the table um so both of you are sitting in a in a place of wanting to take the lead that's why there's like this energy of i feel butting butting head kind of energy someone i feel like you're in your emotions here and this person here is in their head and i feel like you feel this emotion or emotional maturity here in the connection you feel this tie with this person with your emotions and you and they're strong and you feel balanced and peaceful with that but you're just holding on to that ship so why is the world here with your this could be travel here for some of you with the world your feelings as the world here the hanged man pisces energy yeah so there's the, there is this feeling of needing to look at something in a different point of view or needing to <laughs> for some of you you may be hoping for some kind of it's like if you could spend some time with this person or if you could have a new beginning in some kind of way or a new understanding with this person person then things could really take off or move forward but there's this feeling that you don't have so much control in the direction um see you're holding on to that ship in both these pictures um kind of waiting to set sail you know and this is kind of like a, a taking off this this would take off but you're this is at a, again a pause a standstill with the the hanged man tell me about the three of wands for your intentions a star in reverse this is losing hope perhaps for some of you you may have may feel like your intentions are if this takes like too long that you could be losing hope here um and this being your wish of what you wanted in some kind of way we have a more aquarius energy there is a need to heal so maybe you recognize that this person you're gate creating some kind of distance here because you know this person needs to heal or this isn't quite ready to come together you know and you're not trying to put any pressure on this person in any kind of way this can be like something not coming together in the way that you you thought For some of you that may be kind of a fear that's attached to that waiting period that pause it's like you're waiting to see the final chapter you know you're waiting to have a new perspective um you may feel like this person as well is sitting in a place to where they may be actually gaining a new insight of how things can work here Tell me about that King of Swords for their person's feelings about the connection. The Eight of Wands. So there's communication moving forward. Quick, quick communication. Um, it's funny, this is the King of Swords. There's two Kings in this deck, but this is the King of Swords and it's a woman here. So even though you're both in this King, this person here, if, if they are a feminine energy doesn't matter the gender feminine energy then they're sitting in a masculine energy as far as i think they're in a position of taking the lead or taking a direction or needing a sense of to do what they feel like um being honest and being truthful and communicating that is here 
So they feel like they're they're taking on a masculine energy of how they approach this relationship here with you. And it could be mending, it could be just how they want to grow or build this. Communicating that, this is what they're thinking about. How to communicate that. What direction to take things. Why does it say the swords here? See, the eights are about action. I think this person's contemplating taking some kind of action that is going to have a significant effect here, change things. So tell me about that eight of swords for their feelings. They're trapped in their head about it. You have a queen of wands here. Leo energy can be Sagittarius or Aries as well. Fire. The eight of swords is... I feel like this person in their feelings, they want to be secure. They want to know for sure how something, how they feel about something in order to take a direction. They don't want to just be too quick or, or go off an of impulse here. This is someone that's kind of in their head a little bit about that. And this is why you're in this waiting period. There is a little bit of sense of pride or dignity that's around this person in some kind of way where they're wanting to do the best thing for them or they're just trying to move towards what they feel like is best and try to not get in their head about that. This is someone that is almost in a way trying to have a sense of understanding within themselves without letting other things get in the way of that. And they may just be communicating to you what what it what their the truth is of what they feel, what they think, and um, their needs getting met. The, the value or the understanding of how they want their needs to be met here in this relationship. This person may be a little bit stuck in their head about how to move things forward. They may, get, they may get kind of trapped in the confidence, I feel. That's the, that's the biggest part of all. Feeling confident in their feelings. This is where this person gets stuck. It's like they are being honest. They want to move forward here, but they're not quite feeling fully confident with their feelings because they have all these other things around them that almost they feel like are crippling that in some kind of way. And they're needing to see themselves out of it. They need to get themselves out of that. Tell me about that five of wands in the reverse. The hermit Virgo energy. So the five of wands in the reverse, I think this, it's like, um, it's like when you go in, in internally and you've tried to like think things through so much so that you're just conflicted about other people's as well. You know, you conflict about other people's opinions or you're conflicted about what's going on or um, which direction you should take or other people that are around and um, what you should choose and needing to fight for something or needing to defend something. Um, and wanting to be successful, wanting to win, but knowing at what cost or who's around you, you know, that kind of stuff is all there. It's like this person's going internally with this and they're trying to get past it. They're trying to get past this sense of needing to, it could be needing to please others here. It could be that are attached to this as well. Or it could just be looking outside of other people's point of view or perspective here and solely focus on the way that they feel internally it's like who cares what this person says and this person says and this person says about this relationship how do i feel about it and needing to have a sense of understanding with that so i don't know if they're around others where they have other people around them that could get in their head but what their intentions are is to keep that away so 
if other people disagree here with this, then they're wanting to kind of not let that affect this connection. For some of you, this has to do with making amends with you. Um, and they've thought about this a lot and then they've gone within and they feel like it's the right thing to do here for them. Meanwhile, you have this energy while they're going through all this stuff internally. You over here have this energy of kind of losing hope, you know, um, needing to kind of create some kind of distance here because you feel like you may be losing hope here. So I don't want to get, I don't want to get close. I don't want to get too close. That kind of energy is there. Um, tell me more. Actually, we're going to get some different clarifiers, but I do want to take a look at future energies here. So current energies, not of pentacles in reverse. There's that standstill. What's the future of the relationship here? What's the future of the relationship here? Page of cups. This could be a message, an offer. Um, someone offering a new beginning or someone sending some sort of message here or someone that's just wanting to start new, start fresh, offer some of their love, emotions. Tell me what the future of this relationship is here. The full, yeah, there's a new beginning here. Um, so this person's just over here working some things out in their head. And they're wanna, they want to offer you this. They want to take some kind of leap towards you. Um, there's a new beginning line on the table, guys. So wherever you are when you're in this standstill currently, this cause, you know, this Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Give me one more for that. Yeah, the King of Pentacles here, three kings out. Um, of... of the commitment here in this relationship or how to stabilize something or uh, honesty here in this relationship what it is that you both want together i think that the, there's going to be a brand new beginning between the two of you this person is going to take a chance they may be in their head a little bit because they may be afraid of what's under the surface like what what they don't see with you but this is all about like stepping into faith with that i think that they feel they're going to if they don't yet Feel a sense of confidence over um, self-imposed thoughts, right? Um, a self-imposed, so well, self-imprisonment. Um, it's like a sense of fear that could be overtaking this person, and they don't want to allow that to affect the way that they move forward. You know, and they, I think they're aware of this, so. I think that they're fighting against that in some kind of way. They're definitely just working some things out here, trying to get out of their head. Like I said in the beginning, they are in their logic. And you are more in your emotions here. You're just sitting and waiting. Future of this connection. Can you give me one more for the future of this connection here? The Queen of Pentacles. If you're waiting for a commitment from this person, then you're going to get it. Um, King and Queen of Pentacles out here. Yep, brand new beginning here with someone. Let's get some different clarifiers. We have the two of wands, so making plans for the future. This person's just working through some stuff, that's all. If you've had any kind of conflict with this person, it's they've they went within with whatever happened there, and they've thought about this a lot look at that two of cups is underneath the deck two of cups and the two of wands this is taking on a, a relationship committing to something moving forward making plans for the future um that that emperor there in reverse what's that want to show itself death yeah there's this is going to be a transformation four of cups that's that waiting period and the emperor in reverse. This person doesn't didn't doesn't know or hasn't known known <laughs> if this relationship is something that they see as long term uh, potential. Like they've needed to go within, they needed to kind of figure that out within themselves, and that may have caused some kind of conflict here with that five of wands. 
are going to be communicating to you that they feel like they want to kind of work with you, grow something here. These are new. These are the, um, really exciting about them. Um, you can get them on Etsy. They're called the Twin Flame Bodies. So let's see if we can get some more information from this. Okay. And this is going to happen, I feel like, in a way of right before you get to that point where you're like really just kind of losing hope here or there's some kind of distance between the two of you there could even be like a disagreement that takes place and then all of a sudden this kind of comes out of nowhere this person i feel like is going to go through a period where they realize they don't want to lose this so they may start act being smart about it and act quickly um so confidence over fear there you know knowing that they need to do that Okay, so what about you here with this King of Cups? What is this for your, how you're feeling about this relationship, Pile of Two? How do you feel about this relationship? Straw, in, straw into gold. Alchemy, revival of what was lost, creating something out of nothing. So you may feel like this relationship is having some kind of a, Reamp kind of energy. It's like, um, yeah, recovering something that you felt like was lost. You've maintained a sense of patience and stability here with how you feel in your heart or in your in intuition, you know, with this person. Tell me about the, tell me about your feelings towards this person with the world and the hanged man. Blessed union. Well, there it is. Meant to be together. Love that transforms in divine mission together. You feel like this person is your person. And I think that you've been waiting for them to see that. That's your feelings. So what are your intentions here? This is, can, you know, this can look in the way of, if this doesn't end up being what I want, then I'll have to move move away from this. You see how she's holding that ship in her hand, but she's looking in the other direction. So you're literally looking over here at your person. But if this isn't what I feel like it, I, it is my, if I don't feel like this is something that is my wish come true here, if it's, if I start to lose hope here, or I feel it's not okay or not right, then you can shift that wish that you have, you know, you, to do what's right or what's best for you. This is your intentions moving forward. So tell me more about that. You're, Okay. <laughs> the return. Look at that. The past returns coming together, returning home. Yeah. If this doesn't give you what it is that you need, your intentions are to return back to what you were. But this can also look in the way of allowing distance here to like letting go of something in a way of knowing that if it's meant for you, it'll come back to you. You know, that kind of energy is here. Yeah. This is your intentions. So what about your person? There's like 120 of these cards. They're kind of <laughs> hard to shuffle. So shuffle them a little different. Your person's energy with this eight of wands. Your person's energy here with this eight of wands. Ooh, rising star. There you go. Your star is rising here. Recognition, favorable outcome, and joyful transformation. Yeah, this person's transforming their thoughts the way they're seeing things just like you've been saying here that if you just wait for this person will they are and um, you're, you're going to get some recognition here i feel like guys um that's going to come in in communication or just the way things move forward i think that it will pick up pace or move move start moving quicker you know this person wants to like they want to take this, they want to be smart about this and take this opportunity. They feel like it can be successful. That's how they're thinking. So what about their emotions here with this Queen of Wands? How they feel about you? 
how do they feel about you? I'll do healing heart. For some of you, this is someone that's returning, but opening your heart, healing old emotional pain, yeah, and preparing for new love. Guys, this person may, this Eight of Swords, they may have been in their head here because they were healing from something of the past. And it may have resurfaced here if this is someone newer to you. Um, or this could be someone, you know, that you are, that is wanting to heal something of the past. Because they don't want to lose this. Um, and they've been in their head about it. But I feel like it's, I mean, it doesn't matter. New or old, this is the same kind of energy I'm feeling about opening their heart. Knowing that they need to open their heart or they want to have confidence in. Or they, I feel like this person with that Queen of Wands, I think they are opening their heart up to you. They're prepared to open their heart up to you. Despite that Eight of Swords, despite being afraid. I said that earlier. Tell me about this hermit with their intentions. Radiant Sun. Confidence. <laughs> Just talked about that. Um, success and enthusiasm, optimism and fulfillment. Yeah. See, they've gone within and they've decided here that their intentions are to remain confident here. They feel like despite possibly some differences that you've had or that you've had here in the past, that they see fulfillment here with you. They see this being something that can be joyous for them. And they want to give you this recognition and that. And then this person's opening their heart up to you here. I think it's just been a really slow process. But these are eights, and this is about action. And five, that change. This person's changing the way they're seeing things moving forward. So let's see about current energies of the connection. Oh, the two cards came flying right out. Oh, we have secret admirer here. Unaware of admi admirer's feelings, fear of rejection, and someone secretly watching you. And then you have two possibilities. At a crossroads, critical stage, exploring your options. So right now, at this time, you may be wondering or feeling like maybe this person's exploring their options here. Um, you may be kind of spying on this person or kind of keeping up with this person. I think that there may be a sense of you're fearing this rejection or that they're with someone else or dating someone else or... Um, that there's something that you're not seeing about this person because anytime someone kind of takes a pause, I mean, this is understandable, right? But you also feel like this is where you're, you know, you're sitting at a crossroads here with this person. You know that they're in this position of making some kind of taking action or making some kind of choice. And so, of course, it's going to put you in a state of being afraid of some kind of rejection here, right? There's two possibilities here. Two outcomes. Either you can be that king of pentacles, have this commitment, or this person could reject you in some kind of way. Tell me about... You may be not being fully open either with how you really feel about this person. Or you may feel like you have no idea how they are feeling. Because you do have that unaware of admirers feelings that's there. So it's like it to be, could be two possibilities. You have no idea, you know, and you're just hoping for this person to remove their mask, open their heart up, be honest with you. And they are. Their honesty is coming. Communication is coming. Recognition is coming. Tell me about this Queen of Pentacles as far as the future energies go, the Page of Cups and the Fool. And this winner. <laughs> Looky there, stuck, stagnation, delays, and setbacks. So this is what I was talking about. This person, Miss, Miss Winner, you know, is queen on top of that Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> so the Queen of Pentacles is, you know, the, I think that they're saying here is what has been stuck. This person may be in a position to where they just, they see something or want something long term. So they've had to put a lot of thought behind that. And they may be wanting to start at a slower pace here with that Page of Cups or communicate to you that they do want to take this risk. They want to take this leap, this chance here with you. And they've just been stuck because they, they, they do want something long term. They could also be someone that has everything that they need. And that has been a, like a factor here, something to do with that. Let me get one more for that. This one is one more.
You have nature calls at the bottom of the deck. With ground yourself, connect with nature and take a breather. So something's coming here, guys. The grasp of greed, materialism, possessiveness, and selfishness. This person may be afraid of what they have and what they, how much they give to others. And finding a sense of balance in that with that Queen of Pentacles. See, the Queen of Pentacles does not give to someone until she knows that that person's worthy of her giving. For sure. And she has all the time in the world. She's the Queen of Pentacles. She's literally holding the time. <laughs> you know, she has all the time in the world because she sees herself in, in value. She recognizes it of herself. She knows she knows what she wants. She knows how much she also has. And she's very cautious about who's in her territory, who kind of comes around. And that could have caused some kind of delay or some kind of setback here with you. Um, you know, she has a sense of needing to be safe and secure with this here. This could be someone, you know, the Queen of Pentacles, especially with this healing heart, she could have been taken advantage of. So I say she, she's Queen of Pentacles. I'm just telling the story of the person. It could be he or she. But they have, could have been taken advantage of in some kind of way. Um, they could have been around others that made them feel selfish. Um, or that they have been around others that have been very selfish with them in some kind of way. Or very possessive with them. You know, um, not wanting to give them any kind of sense of freedom being very jealous or very controlling um, because they did not want to let go of what it was that they had or they saw within that person. Um, so this could look in the way of, this person could have been in a relationship that was very controlling or where someone was very jealous um, or possessive because they didn't want to lose what the Queen of Pentacles could give to them. And so that made this person feel very guarded and protective of their own heart and of their self and needing to really understand someone's motives behind a relationship and what it was that they really wanted. And so that could have caused the stagnant, stagnancy in this relationship here with you. Mm -hmm. Now one more for future energies, possible future outcome. Timing is running out. <laughs> Feeling the pressure, losing patience require requires immediate attention. So yeah, they know that, you know, you're not going to sit here and wait forever. Um, like I said before, you're in this period of where, you you know, you're contemplating should you kind of move away from this because I think that you, you, you have this feeling here. You know, you know that this, you feel like this is meant to be. But you can't wait around forever for this person to see that. Right? Um, magical gateway is at the bottom of the deck. Go for it on the right path and wonderful new beginning. So there you go. That's the bottom of the deck. And you have that two of cups and that two of wands. So I think you can expect moving forward here if you've been stagnant in this relationship. Now, I can't, I'm not in charge or I'm not responsible for what your, your person's doing here. They could change their mind. You know, something could happen between the two of you or something like that. But this is what their energy is in at this moment in time. So these are the affirmators. We're going to get one of these and then we'll get some initials to close. I have some advice here. Uh, came out kind of weird. There's three. I'm not taking all of them. <laughs> Just want one. I have one card. No! <laughs> it's like, we'll just give you all of them if you're going to talk like that. All right. Get back. One card, please. Can I just have one card? For advice, for pile two. Just one for advice. I'll take that one. Self-love. Yep. You are the best. No, you are. <laughs> you want to find somebody that, that makes you feel that way, you know, that has just as much love for... For you as you have for yourself and this is uh this is like a, a up level relationship right where the two of you know you need to do what's best for each other um and coming together in that same way i openly ex ex I openly embrace a feeling of self-love the pg kind 
I love myself because I understand myself. I love myself as the most committed partner I will ever have. And I love myself, I love, I show myself love any way that I can. And when I screw up, I remember to be sweet and gentle with myself. If not, I'm going to make myself sleep on the couch. Got that self? <laughs> so you see the foxes here, which is about, you know, playfulness and deception as well. You know, strategic energy, being, being smart. I think that they're saying just be smart about this. You know, if you feel like this isn't going in the direction that you want, if you create some kind of distance here and this is your intentions, if it doesn't come together and you create some kind of distance, I think this person's going to feel this pressure here of making, needing to make a decision. Um, and they're going to be faced with, you know, what it is that they could be losing. And sometimes when people are faced with, you know, if they're stagnant and they're faced with what they could actually lose, that can create a sense of, out of fear, possibly, you know, wanting to be in a place to where they need to make a decision because even if they feel ready, they may still allow some time to go by. And now the Spirit's saying here is be careful about allowing too much time because you don't want this person to take advantage of that in any kind of way. Okay, I'm not to saying I'm not saying manipulate this person by telling them if they don't decide, I'm over, I'm done. But it's just saying, you know, make sure this person's being respectful towards you and a and communicating with you about that and you know do what's best for you here okay so we have the six which is lovers and tarot and healing we have the three which is expansion and growth so choosing to expand i can see um also significant healing is there we have the angel's wing so not having exactly what it is, you know, you can't fly with one wing, you have to have two. So it's like, I can't make this relationship grow by myself. I have to have this other person. Um, so we also have the cross here. So a burden to bear or religious religion being a factor here in some way, or just a sense of morals and values and what it is that you value within yourself. Um, self love, you know, then you have the, the diamond heart. So seeing this person as being the one in a way, but also a little rough around the edges there, you know, their heart needing to heal still. You have G U S E. You maybe get to a point where you're, you, you're tired of guessing, you know, what, what's going on with this person and needing to understand that. Glue. <laughs> Glue is here. So it could be that you don't want to have to be the glue that keeps this together. You know, you want this to be mutual, the both of you. You know, you want the two of you to want to keep this together, not just one-sided. Um, yeah. Okay. trying to see I know there's other stuff in the bowl that is there but I was trying to see if I could intuitively pick up on any more messages from that so here you go guys so thanks for being here thanks for all your love and support and your kindness of course um if you want a personal reading for me I'm open for that right now it's in the description box make sure to look in the description box um and there's a new email there crystalroseading at gmail.com and um uh, Thanks guys so much, and I hope to see you soon. Bye. Hey, Palfrey. So if you chose the Shadow Land Tarot, this is going to be your reading. All right, guys, so we're gonna get right into the tarot. This is gonna be a eight card spread, but we'll get clarifiers, so we'll get a lot more than that, of course. Um, we're gonna tap into both energies. It's gonna be like you and them. Um, so we're gonna tap into your energy here first on this side, and we'll do your person's on the right. We'll get future energies in the middle and also maybe current energies. I'll see what comes out in the cards, see what kind of I need there. Then we'll get some advice to the end. So we're going to start here with you guys on the left-hand side of me. Now the roles can always switch, so keep that in mind. <clears throat> um, and then we're going to start here with your 
current thoughts about this relationship? Okay, so what are your current thoughts about this relationship? All three. What are their current thoughts about this relationship? What are their current thoughts here? Spirit, what are their current thoughts here? What are their th current thoughts here about this relationship? The 12-3. Well, two cards came out. I'm going to take them both. You have Leo and Scorpio energies that are out here. Um, you have Death in Reverse and the Queen of Wands. So maybe holding on to something here. Holding on to this person. Or your thoughts are that they're holding on to something that they want, a direction that they want to take. Um, I feel like this is you wanting to hold on to this person, though. But let's, let's keep going. I'm going to get all of them out before I continue. So what about your feelings? Three of Pentacles. Wanting to work together. Wanting some kind of commitment or moving forward. Maybe wanting to offer this person something here. Tell me about your actions or your intentions. What are your intentions with this person moving forward, Paul Three? You have the Fool in Reverse. Okay. Interesting. That's an Aries energy, Aquarius energy, Scorpio energy there, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, so let's see about your persons now. What are your person's current thoughts about this connection here, Paul? Three. Person's current thoughts about the connection. Two of Pentacles. So they may be sitting and looking at their options, juggling something here. What about their feelings? There's Paul Three. The five of Wands in reverse. Getting past some kind of conflict or difficulty? What about their intentions? Oh. Story. We have the Two of Cups, we have the Queen of Pentacles, and we have the Seven of Swords in reverse. Okay. For their intentions. Hmm. Don't know that I necessarily want to take all these. I may ask for one. But this is a partnership with, with, I mean, I feel like this is a partnership here being generous with you and turning over a new leaf. I think this person is wanting to have some kind of, their intentions are to grow or have some kind of nurture this relationship here and change the way that they have been here. So let's see about that with their intentions. One card, please. Knight of Swords in the reverse. Hmm. This person may be a little bit impulsive or could even be a little bit dishonest here with you. They may be wanting your, wanting to give you a sense of some kind of truth, but not all the truth, in order to gain your trust back here in some kind of way. So be careful of that. Okay. What's the current energy of the relationship here? The current energy? Seven of Wands. Challenge. Defending. Needing to defend the actions here. Needing to defend yourself. Guarded. Um... I have one more for this. We have another seven, seven of cups in the reverse. Being sure and wanting to making the making the right choice here. So feeling a sense of being challenged with what's real and what's not is the current energy. So the both of you are kind of in this space to where you you are trying to see past any kind of illusions here and being afraid of making the wrong choice and you're, and you're needing to defend here how you feel or the truth. Lots of seven skies, which is the number of alignment and the divine having their hand here in this. There may be some kind of tower that's coming here or some kind of a 
understanding that needs to happen between the two of you about maybe past decisions or past choices that you've made. Okay, so as far as your side goes is how you're feeling towards this, per or the thoughts about the relationship. I think that you may feel confident that this person is still holding on to some things. I think that you feel like, for you too, I think that you may still be holding on to some things that happened here that you feel confident about, but you need to kind of know you need to let go of. It's like having that disagreement or that argument and still kind of feeling like you were right, you were in the right. Because both of you are in a place to where you're needing to defend your choices. Um, and I think you're in that place currently of knowing that you just need to defend your choices of the direction that you take. There's a commitment out on the table. You know, that three of pentacles is there. So in your feelings, you would like to work something out with this person. In your feelings, you would like to have some kind of coming together. There's three, there's on the wall, there's two pictures. It looks like three dice in each picture. So that's six. So there's this feeling of wanting to work something out or give to the situation in an equal ma matter. So that, you know, you can kind of regain trust here perhaps or but with this, this full in reverse, it's like you don't want to be reckless here either and make some kind of, take some kind of leap. I am also feeling this feeling for some of you of still holding on to this person and wanting commitment with this person in some kind of way or at least wanting to work something out. But you don't want to be a fool. Uh, you... Let me get some clarifiers for that. Tell me about that Three of Pentacles in the reverse. Two of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, that's about being afraid of the unknown, whether or not the two of you can work something out or come together. Wanting to, but not knowing if it will. Um, and there's not really a plan in this. That's what you're feeling like. You're afraid of the unknown if you and this person are ever going to work something out. Or what the future holds with that. Tell me about the full here in reverse. The Nine of Cups. Yeah. This is about happiness and joy and what you want. You know, and you want fulfillment, you want happiness here, but you're not a fool either. You don't want to be just jumping off that edge and going towards this Nine of Cups. And, you know, and maybe that was something that you think about. Maybe that's something that you've done before and you don't want to play that all over again. Um, you don't want to be reckless with your own happiness, right? Those are your intentions. I don't want to be reckless with my happiness. There is kind of this... I don't know how to describe this feeling. It's like an impulsive feeling, but it's also reserved at the same time. It's like somebody that wants to jump but doesn't. Like wants, but they don't. Then they, they, don't, then they think yes, and then they're like, no, 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 no. It's this feeling back and forth that I'm feeling. So maybe that's something that you've been doing of whether or not if you take this leaf, if it, if you'll be happy with it. Not wanting to be a fool and just kind of indulge here, you know. Hmm. Or I'm not a fool. I need to make sure that I'm not reckless in this and this is something that's going to bring me happiness here. There is a self-focused energy here. Tell me about this death in reverse with that Queen of Wands. The Four of Cups. You're still holding on to something here. It's just like not wanting something to end as well. 
like there's resentment here I'm feeling guys that you're trying to if you're you're trying to get over you're wondering if you can get over or you could be wondering if this person can get over this what is this uh, about the moon in reverse there could have been some deceptiveness that took place here if you bring this out into the open can this person get past this or if it comes out into the open can you get past this you know this resentment that you're holding on to interesting reading well so let me see about the two of pentacles what's that two of pentacles for this person's thoughts towards the connection page of wands so they're they're trying to decide if they should possibly send you some kind of message or not um should they communicate here with you or not should should they give you an option will they give you an option um they're thinking about exploring their options here with you so that's a possibility tell me about that that five of wands in the reverse this can be getting past some kind of conflict going your separate ways or if you should three of wands yeah you're waiting you maybe just have been waiting for this person to get over it <laughs> or this person's been in this place where they've been waiting for you to kind of get over it um, I know that sounds kind of bad but if this person doesn't have the courage or strength to come to you and actually offer you something then they may be trying to decide how they want to communicate um, to where it will it's like maybe I put enough distance or time here and I'm waiting for that right opportunity to make amends. I'm waiting for that right opportunity to, where I feel like this person's maybe not resenting me or holding anything against me, or if there's just, if there's so much time possibly that's gone by here that they're just over it, you know, that kind of energy I'm feeling. So tell me about this Knight of Swords here in reverse. The King of Swords. This could be someone that's doing something very, out of the ordinary or could be even very selfish for some of you um with what intending to kind of this is not this is oh guys Aquarius energy here this is someone that may communicate to you impulsively okay and it, it may not be fully honest i have to say that um The lovers in reverse. Tell me about that. The queen of swords in the reverse. King and queen of swords in reverse. There's definitely conflict fight going on here. The lovers in reverse is that distance that's being created between the two of you. This person may have been very impulsive here with you. They may have not been honest. And they could be wanting to change that, but they may not be completely, completely honest when they come forward. Um, they could have cut you off. They could have chose someone else. I mean, I, th this person may come across, guys, as being kind of cold towards you. Um... I think they could be being honest about making an impulsive decision to choose someone else. And I don't feel like that. This is someone that you're on the outskirts with. You are not on the same page about the relationship. And in some way, they weren't being honest with you about that. What is that? Ace of Swords, again, they weren't being honest with you here. They're, this is their intentions, okay? So, there's a lack of honesty about this relationship and why this person perhaps either chose someone else or cut you off. 
and their intentions are to be honest with you, but not be fully honest with you. What are their intentions? You have the Ten of Pentacles. I feel this Ten of Pentacles, I feel it like this person feels like they just want to assist, maintain a stability in whatever it was that they decided. They still, yeah. This is someone stubborn. I feel this is someone stubborn. I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like they're trying to protect their stance on a decision that they've made. And I don't feel like they're being completely honest with you about why that decision was made. They are going to communicate some things, which is what the Four of Wands in reverse and the Ace of Cups. They didn't feel at peace with this relationship. They didn't feel the union. They didn't feel it coming together. Wow. They could have felt love here for you, but they could they they just didn't see it coming. They felt the relationship. They felt love here with you, but they don't see union with you. That's it. This is this person may be a little bit impulsive about it. The way they communicate this. They're wanting to just let's just this is what they would say, you know, let, let's just be clear here. Or let's just be honest here. Why I cut you out is because I was trying to protect, and this could be family as well. I was trying to protect my family. I was trying to protect what I have, my security, my foundation. And this relationship here with you is bringing me a lack of peace, a lack of harmony. I do feel like there's some underlining energies here of things that they're not going to express. What is that? I, mean, I don't know if you'll tell me. Page of Pentacles. They may not apologize to you. Yeah, I mean, there is this unapologetic kind of energy that's here. I had to do what I needed to do, and I'm just not going to apologize for that. That's something that is here. It's kind of a little arrogant. But, the Four of Swords. They've thought about this a lot, apologizing to you, or they thought about starting something new here with you, or having something grounded here with you. I think that the underlining energy here is this person does want to have a new start with you. They're trying to open that door, but they're not opening it in a, in a way of forgiveness and, and honesty completely and, and all that. They're opening it and saying, listen, it is what it is. I did what I did, but they're just wanting to stabilize something with you. They want to make sure, what is their ultimate goal here with that Ten of Pentacles? five of swords they just want to stay out of conflict for whatever reason you could have family with this person it could be long term or something like that this is somebody that just wants to stay out of conflict like i just don't want to fight or they just don't want you to betray them so in some kind of way you know you could have something on this person or something like that queen of pentacles if you're giving to this person in any kind of way that's something that they don't want to lose um or they just don't want to lose the nurturement that they have here or There's someone else here that they feel like they're conflicted about or concerned about. And they want to make sure that you don't rattle the, the boat. Okay? So, oh, Lordy, keep this in mind. Interesting. We'll get some clarifiers for that, but let's go ahead. I want to look at more in your energy here of your intentions. The Seven of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, you're no fool. You're looking, looking at this person and, and why they're coming clean now, why they're wanting to communicate things now. Um, Um. 
this will bring this is going to be something that I mean the things are going to come to light you are going to have some kind of something here with this person where it's going to come out into the open it will be exposed in some kind of way here um that will bring you some sort of happiness so you may get some kind of sense of recognition for some of you this person will apologize here to you about and it's something they thought long and hard about about why they cut you out, but they're still standing their ground here of the reason behind that. Maybe they just did it in the, maybe they just did it in the wrong way with that Five of Swords. They may have felt like, you know, they're just afraid of you betraying them or you have. You have the, the, the hanged man here in reverse with strengths. So that's Pisces Leo energy. I feel like this person has had has needed to see something in a different point of view um i think that they've again like spent a lot of time trying to connect or find their inner strength in order to come towards you and to express this they've had to find courage you know tell me about that two of wands in the reverse The magician in reverse. See, you don't know, I don't think that you feel like you can trust this person. Um, and it's still kind of unknown to you why they're even, you still feel like there's things that are unknown. Your intuition is going to pick right up on this, I feel like. You have um, Virgo and Gemini energies there. I feel like your intuition is going to be on alert and you're going to be like, there's things I don't know here. I know there's things that I don't know. I feel it. Give me some more. Can I have some more, please? I want to know about the Seven of Swords. What's your intentions? The Eight of Swords. You've changed the way you are with taking risk. And you're more focused on if, if it's going to bring you peace or happiness here. And, and this Eight of Swords here is, you know, as far as your intentions, you, I think that you're wanting to stay away from this. I, th I do think that Yeah, this is like, I don't want to get in my head here. I don't want this person to try to get in my head. Um, you have seven, eight, nine right there. What's the future of this connection moving forward? Wait, let me see what that seven of cups here now that I have all this out in the reverse. Yeah, because your thoughts here, are what you know. I think that you're still holding on to some things. There's some baggage here that you're still holding on to about what has transpired or why. And I think that's something that's gonna come out into the open. This person may send you some kind of message of giving you some kind of option. Maybe about talking about things. Uh, yeah, there's your reconciliation with the Three of Cups. They're giving you some kind of option to work something out. And you, here in your feelings, you're like, well, do I want to work this out? Is this going to be good or bad? You know, I don't know what's going to happen here with that magician being there. And this person saying that they've changed or turned over a new leaf or this is what you wanted before. And, and then it's going to put you in your head a little bit. Things coming out into the open here. But why is the seven of cups in the reverse for the connecting energies? The six of swords in reverse. So again, this is like, this is like going back to a situation where there was once this conflict that was there, right? What's the future energies? Needing to go back to something and kind of work it out now. That five of swords, you know, it's like, okay, we had this conflict. We had this big disagreement. Somebody got away with more than the other person. I feel like that's on your person's side because they're the one with it here. And now they know they need to kind of look at their options come back around and they may wonder like how you feel about them um i think this person's afraid of you cutting them out or something like that especially if there's a long term it's like oh i need to go back and fix that i need to go back and at least communicate or offer this person some kind of emotional conversation you know with that three of cups I'm waiting for the right opportunity for that. I can't leave things the way that they are. That kind of energy is here. 
there's underlining stuff here of the purposes behind that fully. What's the future of this connection here for Paul three? the future of this connection? King of Pentacles in reverse, there's that dishonesty, a lack of commitment, the hermit, Virgo energy, what else? Like, this is like a ghost coming back around from your past, death in reverse, um, that's gonna make you kind of need to go within. And you don't know if you can trust this person. Look at this, Will of Fortune. This is part of karma playing out, all in divine timing. Future energies here. This is an opportunity. Um, you have a six of wands here in reverse. Spirit's like giving you an opportunity. Um, with that six of wands and being in reverse, is there's, there's a lack of something here that may have not been successful in the past or lack of recognition that you've had in the past or lack of confidence there in something. Like you have an opportunity here and you're going to have to go within to try to figure things out. So you don't feel stable here and with this person, you don't feel like you can trust it or you're safe. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. I don't think that you're going to... I don't think it's going to go anywhere. That's what I want to say. I don't think it's going to go anywhere. Because I don't think that you feel confident in it. I don't feel like... I think that you feel like it won't be successful. Um, I think it's going to happen the way that it's meant to. And if... I don't think necessarily this is like an offer from this person... I just think that this isn't going to be exactly what you wanted. Let's say that. I'm going to say that. I think that makes perfect sense. This is coming towards you. It's something you've been holding on to. And it's coming in to kind of clear up the karma of this. This is an opportunity to do that. And I don't feel like you fully trust this person. It may still put you in your head a little bit. And it's not going to come to you in the way that you think it or you want it to. Because there's still conflict here. There's still some resentments that are here. You have a nine of wands that's at the bottom of the deck in reverse. This person's not coming to you in a, I feel like a, the healthiest energy. Let's say that. They're definitely not coming to you in the healthiest way. Let's see what the moon is. As far as what are your... Thoughts towards, okay, <laughs> it came right out. Um, epiphany, discovery or realization, sudden insight into reality and deep, dig deep within for answers. Yep, this is what I think that your thoughts are of this connection, what you've been doing. So let's see what trying to figure things out, right? You feel like there's some things about this person that are coming to light for you. Let's see what the your feelings are about this person. What are your feelings towards this person? On a pedestal. Great admiration, idealizing, and denying flaws, feeling they're out of your league. I think that you feel as if this person may be a little bit of manipulative, and I think maybe before you had this person on a pedestal in some kind of way, but you've been you denied this person of anything, anything that you saw, any kind of red flags, you just kind of Put that to the side in some kind of way and now you're kind of having an epiphany or realizing that what about what are your intentions towards this person moving forward two cards the unexpected and complexity so there you go there's that there's this conflict that's coming it's going to put you in your head a little bit unexpected surprises expect the unexpected and shocking revelations Something's going to come out and it's going to put you in your head a little bit. I do. This is weird energy. This is like the, some, the someone saying, yeah, I, I love you. In the middle of all this, not in an emotional way. Yeah, I have love for you here, but I don't feel it. I'm not comfortable with it. It's weird. It's almost like this person's already have a commitment elsewhere. 
We have complexity here, complexities, situationship, tricky situation, and hard to figure out. So there you go. This is going to be kind of unexpected and kind of hard for you to figure out. That's why it's going to put you in your head. Tell me about this person's thinking about their relationship. What is this person thinking about their infinite abundance? Prosperous life, unexpected windfalls, knowing your self-worth and value. I think this person recognizes or seeing some kind of abundance or value in this connection. And I think it's something that they want to hold on to because of that. Can you give me one more for that? I want to know. Taking action. Uh-huh. Forward movement, willingness to do the work, taking control of the situation. Yeah, I think this person's trying to do that because I feel like they're afraid that you'll cut them out or betray them or something like that is here. They're trying to take the lead or take control in this. They feel like they need to give you like their options here and, and trying to reconcile or work something out. Tell me about what this person's feelings are towards you. The traveler, like this person's coming towards you here. Traveler, foreigner, foreigner, beginning your journey, long distance relationship. So, and with that three of wands, that can, this can mean that this is a long distance relationship and that's caused some conflict here. Or it could be that the two of you are like worlds apart, you know, or you're having a hard time seeing eye to eye on something. Um, You could be even realizing that they could be saying, you know, the distance that's been, that has been created in the relationship is something that they want to mend. You know, they want to come back together here. Start over. What about their intentions? It's what I've been dying to get, oh, get on to. Healing heart. Mm -hmm. Opening your heart. Healing old emotional pain and preparing for new love. This person is trying to heal this. What are their intentions? What are their intentions? Planetary vibes, planetary influences. Yeah. I think that <laughs> I think that there's other things that are influencing this person to be impulsive or want to come towards you and heal things. Tell me about that. What is that? They, there's this feeling of this person just build this connection here with you. Tell me what this planetary vibes is. Two cards came out. A long list and fanned out. Available, no limits or restrictions, willingness to be vulnerable. This is how they see you. This is part of what they see in you. They see that you don't have any limits or you don't have possibly any boundaries or you didn't in the past. Or you, that This could also represent, represent some kind of restrictions around this relationship like we talked about. But we have a long list. Unrealistic high standards, never satisfied, hard to please, and high maintenance. I think this, this, is, this is this resentment energy that's here. This person may feel like, I, I keep trying to do everything I can for you, but nothing it never works. You're never satisfied. Um, it's like they want you to remain available to them in some kind of way. They may come towards you wanting to start a fight about this. I'm going to be honest, like, wanting to fight for you, but they're not going to say it like that. They just, I feel like they don't want to lose you. I think that's what the influence is here. Miss Lazy Daisy, lack of action, procrastination. I think that they've been procrastinating this perhaps. They've been not taking any kind of action here, waiting for you to come to them and you haven't done that. So now they have this willingness to be vulnerable and open up, but they may have some 
unrealistic, they've had unrealistic expectations of you here, I feel like, for one. Let's see what this connection is. What's the connection here currently, current connection? Rising star, recognition. There's that recognition I told you you'd be getting here. Joyful transformation, favorable outcome. This is what you're hoping for. That's a, that's recognition of hoping, being hopeful and being faithful that things are going to go the way they're meant to or they have. So tell me about future energies here. It's future energies. Carelessness. Whatever attitude. This is what I've been feeling. <laughs> Whatever attitude. Not playing your cards right. Yeah, this person, guys, future energies. Give me one more for that. Two possibilities. I think this came out every pile. At a crossroads, critical stage, and exploring your options, like I talked about here. Choices. It's almost like time is running out at the bottom. This person feels like time is running out, and they want to come in and fix things here. But then they also have this sense of carelessness about what, having a whatever attitude about it. Like, if I tried, I tried, you know, it didn't work out. Or, you know, something like that. It's, a, it's just really strange. If they want something, why they're not kind of going for it, you know? If they're just exploring their options here. They want to make sure they play their cards right. And you need to do the same. It's advice. Wonder. It's a wonderful thing to be in a state of wonder. And when I'm good when I'm a good audience to my life, my life becomes better and better. Theater. When something delightful happens, I shout out encore and be trick but and <laughs> be tickled when it happens again. When something maddening happens, I can laugh it off either way. I'm glad I got a ticket to the show. Well, my God, there you go. That's the, this is, I feel like the part of ending of your reading here is, I think you're going to be getting what it is that you wanted, but it's not coming in the way that you thought. And also authenticity is at the bottom. So they're saying to be authentic and true to yourself here when this does happen. Um, maybe off script, you know what I mean? You may, this may throw you out of whack big time. You're going to be sitting at a crossroads here and you need to do play your cards right, do what's best for you. You know, and if this is, again, if when something delightful happens, you want to shout encore. But when something maddening happens, you just have to laugh it off. And either way, you're glad you got a ticket to the show. It's like, be glad that, you know, you had this experience, even if it doesn't end in the way that you want or it doesn't come together like you want. Whatever's happening is meant to happen, and you need to do what's best for you, obviously. This could also be about repeating a cycle. So do you want to repeat another cycle with this person in this way? You know? Maybe they're needing to learn a lesson, and you're part of their teacher in that. We have four, which is about stability, safety, Security your boundaries, so keep an eye on that. You have the two birds here with the heart in the middle, so you may feel and may still have the soul connection here with this person. But that doesn't mean that you're meant to come together. That doesn't mean that you have to let this person walk all over you. That doesn't mean that you have to, you know, give to this person when you don't feel like it's right. Um, you have the throat chakra here, so. Someone's going to be communicating something. You have R, X, Y, N, U, Y, J, and O. Joy's here. What whatever's happening here in this, it's what it's needed to happen. So R X retrograde, um, retrogrades here. So whatever's and, and undoing something. Un. Whatever's happening here, don't let it undo the joy that you have. That's something, but don't let this coming back around, you know, it's meant to help you undo what has been done, however it unfolds, either knowing why things happened 
so that you can move forward or having, having a sense of peace with that, you know? Just make sure you maintain a sense of boundaries and safety here about the decision that you make moving forward. That's a definite, okay? All right, I'm gonna leave it here, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this makes sense, resonates, helps. Good luck. Um, thanks for being here. Thanks for all your love and support and kindness, of course. And I hope to see you soon. Bye.